Hello, my name is Leonard. I'm going to be showing you how to set up Virtual DJ. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is all that you need. Okay. Oh, by the way, this video is for Lady Pleaser 53, who commented on one of my videos. I told him I was going to make a setup, like a how-to setup video, and this is it. Um. Anyway, this is a turntable mixer turntable, and then you're going to need this here. This is the Maya 44 USB uh, sound card. Um, I got these from Radio Shack. The, not the actual. This I don't remember exactly where I got the sound card from, but I got the cables from Radio Shack, which are working pretty well so far. They haven't conked out on me anything. Um, so uh, yeah, let's get started. Oh, you're also gonna need you know your laptop. Okay. Or your computer, desktop, whatever. I hope you have a laptop if you're a mobile DJ. Alright, the first step what you want to do is uh, you want to take your turntables, hook them up to the ground that's on the mixer. You know what I'm saying? That way, whenever you do get it, it won't have that. It'll have a humming noise. You don't want that. Alright. So, um, take the take the sound card. It has four inputs, four outputs. What you want to do is you want to take your output one one and two or your left and right to your first turntable. Okay, so what you want to do is take these. They're not color coded, so you're gonna have to figure it out yourself. Alright, white and red. Next what you want to do is you want to hook up the second turntable to your three and four. Three and four. Left and right. Once again you want to match the colors up to the one and two here and three and four there. Okay. So, son of a bitch, I'm gonna pull out the damn ground again. Alright, anyway, let's just get this popping. Alright, plug that there, plug that there, voila. That's all you need to do for that part. Okay, now what you want to do here is you are going to want to take the one and two from the sound card, not the ones that you've just plugged in into the into the deck. I mean into the um the actual sound card. You want to take the ones coming from the sound card, the analog out. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Um the analog out. You want to take these two. You want to plug these into your one and two on your mixer. Okay. Which is your white and red. On the mixer it should be color coded. Here it is. This here, I have it actually set for phono because uh, these are phonograph players. Right, see? And you plug these in like so. And you want to do the same thing for channel 2. Okay. Now, this is the tricky part. Make sure everything's working. Alright man, so uh, what you want to do now is uh, you want to go to, well actually whenever you bought a Maya 44 USB, it will come with a CD. I can't find my CD and you probably will lose yours within the, you know, the time that you have yours. So I think what I did was I searched Maya 44 USB, right now I'm using Firefox, uh, drivers, and it took me to the audio track website and then you find the ASIO driver that you need uh, the most recent one is this one here that's the one you want to download that's the one I had or I got and you go through the setup process I mean it'll have one screen direction so that's not the hard part now what we exit out all this Metal Gear Solid 4 make sure you get it anyway um go to shit way too much porn there we go. Virtual DJ is up here. Okay. Right now I just got the Virtual DJ, the Q skin, so it looks kind of weird, but still the same shit. Okay. Now what you want to do after you get your USB card, your sound card uh, configured and everything, you're going to plug this, plug the sound card up to your computer. You should get a pleasant noise. Knowing my computer, though, it might not work. Oh, that's beautiful right there. That, that rarely works. Alright, so what you want to do, 
is go to on virtual DJ go to configure and you hear you're gonna use inputs your inputs are your time codes okay you got two of them so you're gonna use two time codes what else are you using you're using an external mixer wow like that right there and then right uh, you can sh you should probably just keep that as default alright you wanna go to what the fuck I don't know what the hell that was. Anyway, you want to go to time code config, and this is where it gets annoying. Especially if you're a mobile DJ like me, and shit doesn't want to work whenever you plug it into your computer. This is the new Mark Battle Pack that I got in one of my other videos. It's a piece of shit, so don't worry about it though. I'm going to get mine, so you better get yours. Anyway, uh, put the needle on the record. Record spins, record spins, and what that sound was apparently is my USB acting up like it always does. So let's try it again, giving it a slight jiggle. Unplug it, plug that bitch back in. There we go. Alright, let's try this one more time. Plug that in, click this, and that's what we get. You see that spinning? And what's happening right here on the screen is, oh wow, I actually got 100%. But either way, what you want to do is get that to 100%. That way, whenever you look at your record, that bitch is spinning. This, let's try this one, see what this one does. This one here is that it keeps fluctuating between 100 and 76 so right now all you have to do is what I usually do is whenever I get one of them to get to 100 then I just copy all the settings over to the next side and that usually works you see how it automatically jump like from 0 to 85 that's kinda what you want right now there's probably dust on my, on my turntable I rarely use this one but anyway uh, or you can click auto config and it sets up bunch of crap it usually doesn't work so I don't ever trust it anyway uh, click OK both the records are spinning as you can see there's no record on right here I got a hundred percent so I got full bars and this one here oops this one here has no bars because basically shit ain't working I mean it works but it's not hundred percent so I won't be able to do any needle dropping or anything like that but that's I right, though the hose still dig it. Right now, turn the turntable off, that stops spinning. Turn this turntable off, that stops spinning. Turn it back on, off. See? Alright. Now what you want to do is test everything out, see if it works. I would say check out my other videos, you know what I'm saying, but uh, I'm going to be honest, them bitches whack, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I need to go comb my fro. So, uh, peace out. Yeah.